At a time when many biotech stocks have been on fire, what do you do with a biotech that's terrific, that's been lagging the rest of the group and is actually down for the year? I'm talking about Biomarin, BMRN, the orphan drug developer that's flat for the year that I have liked for a very long time. I think Biomarin could be a real bargain at these levels. The company is one of the best orphan drug portfolios out there, terrific pipeline to boot, really amazing pipeline. And you know we adore orphans here on Mad Money. These are drugs that treat ultra-rare diseases and consequently get special incentives from the government, like enhanced patent protection and marketing rights. Plus, orphan drugs tend to be incredibly expensive because they're the only treatments out there. We're talking about $100,000 a year to treat a single patient, still less than what the insurance companies have to pay otherwise, though. Biomarin has multiple drugs on the market, including three for different types of MPS, a group of metabolic disorders that, if left untreated, can cause horrific damage at a cellular level, as well as a drug for phenylketo... You have to... Excuse me, these are hard to pronounce. Phenylketonurea or PKU, which can cause severe developmental problems and neurological issues, and a drug for rare autoimmune disorder that causes muscle weakness. Even better, the company has what some consider to be the best pipeline of orphan drugs in existence, which should create a huge number of catalysts as we get more data on them next year. Do not take it from me. Let's check in with J.J. Bienname, the CEO of Biomarin, to find out more about his company's prospects. Mr. Bienname, welcome back to Mad Money. Hi. Good to hey. see you, sir. Good Sorry I stumbled you. over this. You uh, have a portfolio of, of drugs for somewhat obscure diseases, but that does not mean that they can't. these drugs can't do well. I'm thinking about this Vimizim, yes. which, since we've seen each other last, has taken off like a rocket. Yeah, so Vimizim is the fifth product that we uh, got approved at the company in uh, 16 years of existence. And it's, all, yeah, it's off to a very good start, um, actually doing a little bit better than we anticipated. And in the, in the short, medium term, this will be our biggest drug. Uh, this drug has the potential to be uh, definitely over $600 million, maybe wow. $900 million in revenues. Okay, but, you know, people say, Jim, how can you possibly say, did, why didn't you ask JJ how it could cost $715,000 a year, perhaps? But what's the alternative? I mean, if an insurance company were handling one of these patients. Uh, yes, yeah, all the products we have on the market today, including Vimizim, are the only drugs approved for indication they treat. We have no competition. And these are also very expensive drugs to manufacture. Uh, so we look you know, at the pricing, we look at the value we bring to the patients, the innovation we bring to society here, and uh, the need to continue developing drugs in the orphan space. So. Now, when I look at the product portfolio, we could go over some of the, the niche diseases, but it does seem like that you've carved out a specialty of enzyme. Yes. Some, and how do you do that? And what does it mean in terms of a franchise over for many different pieces yeah. of a pipeline? Yeah, we have, we have products that are not enzymes uh, on the market, but we have mainly enzymes. And uh, it's because enzymes, uh, basically the disease we are uh, involved in are genetic disorders whereby the patients have a mutation, whereby their enzymes that are important in some specific biological processes in their body are just not present or too weak. So we just, in that case, for those patients, we replace the missing enzyme and allow them to, their body to function properly. And they're generally very uh, significant, serious disorders that are uh, not life-threatening, but reduce the life expectancy of the patients. When I go over the conference calls, one continuing theme is, is that you're a very good company to uh, being able to estimate how many people have a disease Correct. and how many people will find themselves with a biomarin product. This is another specialty of your company. Yeah, in a sense, we, um, we now develop a specialty in terms of ability to help physicians around the world to diagnose those patients. So, um, and then we spend a lot of, of time and energy in this. This is what our commercial uh, infrastructure and people are very good at. Now, there's also a sort of very interesting transaction you did. Rare Pediatric Disease Priority Review Voucher. You sold this to Regeneron for $67 million? Correct. How were you able to do that? Well, I think it was a very interesting situation. We were the first company ever to receive uh, this pediatric voucher that allows to have a priority review for any products uh, uh, that you have in your pipeline. We realized that Basically, all the products we develop will have priority reviews because they are for rare disorders. Right. And consequently, there wasn't that much value for us directly. So we thought maybe someone else would like that. And definitely, so we called a few companies, and Regeneron was very interested because they have a new product, PCSK9, for, um, right. you know, for high cholesterol that you're probably going to hear about or if you haven't. Yeah, we had Len on. No, it's so a big know, And they are in competition with Amgen, so it was important for them to potentially get two or three months of, of a reduced review time 
because he was worth a lot of money. Well, I tell you, you've done a remarkable job, and it's exactly what people should want. And I followed your career very closely in the companies. What you guys have done, you've built an amazing pipeline and franchise. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's JJ Bienemays, the CEO of Biomarin Pharmaceuticals. Guys, a lot of these other companies are roaring. This one's actually better than most of the biotechs that are being taken up. Man, money's back yet for the break.